it's just so Trish. And this is our math curriculum we are moving on with, Matthew C. Okay, so background on Matthew C and why we brought it in and why we brought it back. Okay, so Matthew C is a very visual, a very hands-on. The lessons are done via a DVD and you have an instructor's manual in order to be able to do it as on your own. So you can skip the DVD and just use the instructor's manual and then the kids come back with a worksheet like this is a set of worksheets and it has enrichment in it and then there's a book for test okay oh and let's not forget the mean the manipulatives hold on i'm getting it i don't know if i'm going to keep them in this box or not but there's the manipulatives i actually have another box set up for it so each color is a different number. It's very incremental visual and such. So, Matthew C. I have had Matthew C before. And like any good, I can ruin any great curriculum. I ruined the curriculum for my children. Because Matthew C is based on Learn your skill when you get the skill, move on. If you don't, here's extra sheets to um, get that skill down and then move on. Well, so that means, let me get to it. Here's kind of the lesson breakdown. So that means for every lesson, there's A, B, or C, which is a lesson practice, and then there's systematic review. D, E, and F, and then you have a test for that section. So you could take all week, and if you need to extend out, you can take another week. No problem. The mom that I can be would make them do every worksheet because we have to do from cover to cover. I'm reforming, and because of my reforming is the only reason I could go back to Matthew C., I'm not going to ruin it for my children. In fact, I'm using it as a tool to go from skill to skill to skill, not from cover to cover. So I went ahead and I repurchased it. I repurchased it and I repurchased it for several reasons. I am doing the alpha and I'm doing the alpha. I, even though we didn't do the primer and we don't do heavy math, my kindergarten right now works on extra math and she understands the concept of numbers and memorizing her math facts. So this is all about single addition, single digit addition and subtraction. So by using Matthew C is a way to kind of source out teaching her math because with all the kids going that I have in the past, I would use Christian light education for math and it would require me to sit next to that child for a long period of time to get it done. So then she's not as dependent on me. If she doesn't want to wait for me, she can watch her DVD. She can work through her workbook. She can review if she feels like it. And I could actually have the older kids um, check on it for her. So we did the placement test. She kind of placed in primer, but I will tell you um, number one, I will put a link to it. There's a spot that you do a placement test for Matthew C. And I think it's one of the best placement tests that are out there for a curriculum. You click on test them into alpha, you know, so alpha is first, beta is second, gamma is third, delta is fourth, kind of, you know, the levels, they're not really grade periods, but you know, so if you're crossing in from somewhere else, if you're a fourth grader, put them in Delta, test Delta, and it'll say, hey, you might want to move on to the next one, see if you can do the next one, or you might want to move back. So that's what we did. So I did this with Alpha. I did primer, and she didn't quite test out a primer, but afterwards, a couple days later, somebody from Matthew C called me, because you put your information in. They called me and they're like, hey, do you have any questions or any thoughts? Okay, yeah, that was a hook, line, and sinker that I bought it brand new instead of used. I'm going to tell you, it was just too easy. Too easy to do it. And instead of waiting 
until, and that was the big thing too, was things are changing over. And instead of waiting till convention, I was going to get it for the same price. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to wait. Instead of waiting until the end to begin something we probably need to begin, we'll just go ahead and begin now. So I got the alpha. We have no intentions to speed through this. She will probably take a year and a half because we're not quite through kindergarten. And so I just expect like she will be doing every page for a while before it starts clicking. So I did alpha for kindergarten, first grade, because and that's the other part too. Even though we're starting this in our third trimester, reality is we could be done with this by our the end of our second trimester of next year. We don't have to start and stop curriculum just because the year starts and stops. We can start in the middle and we just come around to the middle. So I got alpha. Um, I also then tested Lottie, who's in second grade, and she tested into beta. So beta is your multiple digit addition and subtraction. And again, DVD, the test. Um, I feel like she's going to, again, fly through probably the first third of this book. And so see, here it is. And the nice part is every workbook, let's see. <laughs> so you get like this like little part so you can keep checks off and then um you get the first practice and it is very visual i've watched a bunch you know and we've used this before yes beta i bought beta again bought it again that's a whole nother video when i make that video and if i've made that video and i haven't put it up there yet Leave me a comment and remind me to put it there about selling curriculum because you might still need it. So, um, not bad. And it just, you know, again, you get three pages of learning that lesson, three pages of systematic review, and then you have a test. And the tests are in here. And you get a test after each lesson, and then you get a test after each unit. Um each yeah so there's four unit tests in here also so they're all in here okay the next part and the whole reason i decided to go with matthew c because i'm still a lover of saxon you can't see him up there but there's all my saxon i still love saxon love saxon in fact in after this trimester we will probably be doing a dual matthew c and saxon combo and i will talk more about that but it'll probably be like you do two days of this, you do three days of that. You know, something along those lines. So just that filling in the blank and it's like do an hour, do an hour, you know, kind of deal. But I'm not there yet, so I don't have to explain how I'm going to do it until I'm doing it. So the big reason I came into doing, wanting to go back to Saxon Math, besides the fact of being able to source out the instructions make it more like visual is my oldest who reads phenomenally but is so limited in math and the reality is math is building blocks building blocks so it's kind of like you can't go to the next level without having a good foundation and she's missing holes i mean she's missing holes so we're in gamma gamma fifth grade going into sixth grade we're going to gamma we just those are our holes that we have it is rough on her. She's finally clicking. It's making sense. But, um, so she was the main reason that I had the sense of urgency to go ahead and do Gamma. Because she needs it. So, I feel like on Gamma, on the worksheets, I don't think she's going to need them all. I honestly, I think she's going to be like a one or two page, um, practice and then a one or two page review and this is where she plays and using the placement test this is where she plays so i got gamma i got gamma but i really have an expectation that when she sees it visually it, the light bulb will click in and she'll be like oh and she will fly through i really think she's gonna fly through gamma i also my son, who's fourth grade, 
placed in Gamma also. And I really think he's going to fly through Gamma. And I think he's going to fly through Gamma quicker than she will. So I'm in a debate. I ended up, I got two sets of student books. And I'm in a debate if I'll have them both use one. Because I kind of feel like she can use A, B. He uses C. She can use D and E. And he uses F. I think, I don't think he's going to need, you know. And then at the same time, I'm like, if they need it. I know, it because it becomes a challenge between money. Like, is it worth it? Is it not? Um, For $35, I don't, you know, I'm kind of like, if we just use the two books... You know, I don't want $35 to impede his success or be a stumbler for him to succeed. And I say that, and I know I could go and print things, but everything costs one of three things. I'm going to have a talk on that. Time, energy, or money. And I do have the money, and I don't always have the time and energy. So i'm going to see how the first few weeks go or the first few lessons go to determine if we're using um two books or one so my thought is if they can do the worksheet the first worksheet make 100 percent, then we take the we do a review 100 percent, we take a test if they don't get above 80 on the test they go back and redo the lesson is how i'm planning to do this um, if they, you know, if anything, if they get like a 90 on the second worksheet, a 90%, then I can let them do the review. So I'm kind of figuring like, if you can't get a hundred percent on the first page, but the second page you get 90%, then I consider, you know, the, you know, it, do the test, do the review, do the test kind of deal. So that's just my way because my goal, it's not brand new stuff. It's just making the lights turn on at the right time. So anyway, I only, I told you I only got one of the manipulatives. I heard it's fine. I'm going to actually put it into a container and not keep it in the box, but I'll keep the box in case I want to sell it again. Don't sell it again. So that's what we're doing. And that is our focus for the next 12 weeks. And at the end of 12 weeks, I will tell you how things went. If it was a smart choice or not, um, I will say that I know my kids, bless his heart, he worked so hard at making these videos. I think my kids have really come to love the whiteboard style or the blackboard style where all they see is the hand and stuff. And they don't see somebody in front of it. So my kids are just going to have to suck it up buttercup on that one. But I will tell you when we go into Saxon, we will be using dive DVDs and going that way. And that is that way. So I'm just going to be like, well, make sure you get the lesson the first time. Not, you know, don't have to go back and review it. And you only have to watch it. I don't know. How many lessons are in here for them? How many? I got to check. There's 30. So, I mean, literally, this could be a 30-week program. That's it. You can have you can make this a 30 week program or you can make it 15 if your kid flies through it. So um, because of that, when they're done with Gamma, we will just then go to Delta because we need to get our division down. We need to get our fractions down, especially going into middle school. Oh, my gosh, she's going into middle school. Mm. All right. So anyways, Matthew C. Review and what we're doing with it. So I'm sticking this in the review and the other one. So peace out. Talk to you later.